Don't. You alone couldn't approach the president even if you wanted to. Yeah. Mm. People with smartphones videoing in two minutes before. Well, it's like, how does that it happen? Doesn't. Well, it's an inside job, bro. It's very simple. With Biden being president, the way that he is now, Do obviously he's, he's not. Of course, that's what I mean, obviously. People are obviously starting to wake up because of that. You are delusional if you look at him and think that he's running the country. But then anybody that I've ever asked, and I've had a lot of these conversations, it's like, well, if it isn't Biden, if it isn't the UK prime minister, then who is it? This Trump shooting, who's to blame for that attempted assassination of Donald Trump? I mean, it's clearly the deep state. It's a, it, the people inside of the government that don't want things to change. It's not the first attempt to kill a president, and it's not the first time a president has been killed. Usually presidents get killed when they want to introduce a uh, new policy when it comes to money, or when you start obstructing and changing the current powers that are at B. So you look at the three letter agencies, the FBI, the CIA, the NHS, the NSA. None of these people are appointed by the people. These people are appointed by a cabinet and they just stick around. Who's who's the head of the FBI? Who's the head of the CIA? We don't even know. You don't think yeah. these people have any power? Yeah. They run some of the top intelligence agencies that are most insanely funded in the world, but we don't know who they are. And they sit there for decades on decades on decades. That's a deep state. Bro, you don't think somebody's going to come in and when you disrupt billions of dollars worth of markets and transactions and volume, go look at the, the interview with John McAfee a couple of years before he died, where he said, you know, he inserted viruses into all the computers of the government and realized that the head of the immigration department was actually one of the biggest sex traffickers in mm -hmm. the entire continent. So he's working in infiltrated what? The government. Why wouldn't you infiltrate the government from the inside, set up the policies and put yourself up to win? You don't think people are out here playing chess, bro? You must be delusional. So how do you envision that theory then that it was an inside job, the attempted assassination? Tell me how you would get to Trump naked, let alone with a gun in a ladder and walk. Like you, it just doesn't happen. I've bro. seen a lot of people it doesn't putting happen. it down to incompetence, but there was a lot of incompetence going on from from what I've seen of the shooting I think that from the secret service there was some stuff that was unexcusable like that woman that's five foot tall she's hiding behind the men with, the with her gun out and then she can't even get she it back in the holster yeah. <laughs> like that's just crazy I think the fact that they're aiming to be 30% female by 2030 absolutely ridiculous I, I can't believe that that's even that isn't necessarily on the front line though. that could be but it's still just office. it should be who is best for the could job be, it shouldn't the have anything to do with yeah. just absolutely I, ridiculous the point the point is the point yeah. is it was sketchy you know like yeah yeah, but that's what I was videoing in two minutes before well, it's like, how does that it happen doesn't. well it's an inside job bro it's very simple I, I am not a conspiracy theorist but i do like to believe that I mean, the I, evidence I think that is, is very clear if, if people can't see it it's because they're sleeping and they have what we call cognitive dissonance. When you're presented all the facts, the facts are so obvious, but your brain is so conditioned, right? That it couldn't be possible that you don't see it. I can't wait to see what actually comes out. Like what will be the well, official press gonna, release? You're not gonna get an official press. What's gonna be official? Who's who's officiating it? The well, who's sure, aiding surely it? they would have to say something though for, for the people otherwise. Yeah, they, they, they said that the roof was slanted and it and wasn't it was too, safe. Yeah, it was dangerous, yeah, too dangerous. Do you think they'll try again though? If they I mean, it doesn't stuff. matter. People already know, dude. They didn't kill the man. You could kill him now. You could kill Trump now and it doesn't matter. Why'd you say that then? Because he's already symbol. Right, okay. He's symbolized. So do you think if, if he was unalive now, would it affect the markets or had they priced in the possibility? It would affect the markets. But what I'm saying is society has changed. This has just turned tens of millions of people over. I mean, yeah. that picture with his fist it's, it's, in the It's, the, it's the, the symbol. It's the symbol. People buy into symbols. Yeah, I think that that just won in the election if he wasn't going to win anyway, but I think he was. So you're saying it's an inside, it was an inside job to miss? No, it was an inside job trying to kill him, but it didn't work. You, so, don't, you, don't, you don't miss half a millimeter away right. from somebody's head. No, no, no. Okay, so, but if they're, if they're that on it, that they're able to create this situation and allow it to happen, how did they miss? No. How can you miss that shot? If you if you found a way to get Maybe a man on that roof matrix. that close to him, you've done the hard work. So how do they miss? That's a great question, bro. That's what, embarrassing. What do you think about the fact that, you know, Biden called Trump a threat to democracy? But surely the bigger threat to democracy is... What is, is democracy? Well... You don't well, ask him about big words. <laughs> no, but like... No, what, what is democracy? You see, what we throw around these well, It's terms. our right to vote and be able to have our say. No, it's, that, no, it's not because democracy doesn't work. Yeah, but I would say democracy that it has never worked. It doesn't because Why? you can't even define it. Democracy is of the people for the people, but the people are stupid. Yeah, but so the people can't vote. And you think the elites are allowing the people to vote? You think votes are just 
you think this idea of voting systems being completely transparent and once a person gets elected that they just do what the people No, no, say. I, I agree I, with I, that. I, I think do have democracy voting is that people do have the option to vote, but I also think people can be manipulated to vote in a certain and way. And that's what it, that's what it's, it's, easy to do. it's called public relations. Yeah. Invented by Edward Bernay, a synonym for propaganda. It all it all originates, dude, mass control of the mind. So why does sometimes the left get elected and sometimes the right get elected if it's the same people behind because, them? Because it's all perception. Because if you give people perception of choice, then they'll never revolt because that makes you feel like you're free. So it's, you don't own the left, you don't own the right. You own both of them. So how would right. you define <laughs> it then? If, if we don't have democracy? You own both of them. Listen, guys, listen. The system is very fucking simple. Money gets created in the bank, right? Credit creation gets lent out. We create $200 billion worth of funding to Israel, okay? Where do you think? Do you think that money, that 200 billion, none of, zero of that 200 billion is gonna come back to buy politicians to make more money? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's why flywheel. not? Oh, it's a big flywheel. It's a big scam. It's been taking place forever. That's why you have all these big lobbies and all these big companies that are throwing tens of millions of dollars. It's all recycled money from credit creation. That's why you can fund wars, you can fund politicians in perpetuity. So you don't own the left, you don't own the right, you own it all. You don't own Ukraine, you don't own Russia, you own it all, you own the war. You're the one that supplies the weapons to both. Who? Who gives a fuck? Who? Military, industrial complex, pharma, food, it's all, it's all of them, bro. It's a big cabal. It is crazy what happened in the UK recently. We had the, the big election, obviously. And really and truly, we had a choice between you know, worse or, or worse, or, or you know, bad, or the, the other option was reform. But most people would either just vote for one party to avoid the other party getting in. So there's no real option at all. You just have a choice between two bad parties completely. You have no choice. You have, it's the illusion of choice. Yeah. You're brought in front of two slave masters and you're asked to choose which slave master you want to bow down to. <laughs> do, do you think they ever changed that voting system to proportional representation? Because here we vote for an MP in a constituency and then those MP, whoever I mean, gets, the best, gets in. The best... The best governments are monarchies or dictatorships that are run by benevolent kings. People actually give a fuck about their people. That's that's how it works in the best of societies. I suppose it just, that whole thing falls apart if then someone succeeds them. Exactly. I mean, you just have case. to look at, it. I think it was, uh, they're called the five kings in, or the five emperors in Rome. And it was this period of just peace. And yeah, there was war, there was turmoil, but it was a couple hundred years where they had complete equanimity everybody was calm everybody was thriving but once there was a successor that came in that wasn't good which was marcus aurelius son the empire began to crumble again so once again you can either say that you're giving the people the choice but who the fuck like who the fuck is obama who the fuck is bush who the fuck like who are these people so is this under the assumption then that the general public don't actually know what's best for them they don't so when someone just says, no, it's not about what you want, I'm going to tell you what to do, that works better. Do you prefer to be ruled knowing that you're being ruled? Or do you prefer to think that you're free, but in fact you have no choice and you're being lied to? If, I'm, if, I'm going, if I go to the Emirates, if I go to Dubai, if I go to anywhere in that area of the world, I know who's in charge, I know the policies, I know the rules, I know the things that I can't do. I come here weird you don't know who's in charge you don't know money bribes this guy that guy they they're not dealing with money they're beyond money they have all the money in the world it's power plays so the question is do you want to be under the governance of a corruptible system or under the potentiality of a benevolent king i don't know but any place where we have democracies find me one that works the u.s bringing democracy to iraq and killing a million iraqis but that's how democracy. can you say it doesn't work though when if, when we are a, we are all here now. We all make good money. We we live a life that that we love. How can you say that it doesn't work? If, if we was all the, here yeah, in, in a burning, of who? go to Africa. You got you motherfuckers pillaged the entire continent for five hundred years. No wonder you're doing great. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, but <laughs> but what does that have to do with democracy though? Because it's the idea of coming and colonizing and 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 instilling your 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 values and imperialistic systems upon other countries. The only reason the UK is thriving and it was a metropolis because they colonized half of the world. I guess the argument is we've never actually had democracy. We've always had secret people in charge. Yeah, so but we, the thing is, happened, but whenever you ask work? someone about that, and I, I am starting to come around to this because even just with Biden being president, the way that he is now, Do obviously he's, he's not, of course, that's what I mean, obviously. So people are obviously starting to wake up because of that, because you are delusional if you look at him and think that he's running the country. But then anybody that I've ever asked, and I've had a lot of these conversations, it's like, well, if it isn't 
you know, Biden, if it isn't the UK prime minister, then who is it? It's a collective group of people. You sit down, the, the smartest, the most successful people in every industry, and you collude together. You think COVID just everybody agreed upon it? All the airlines shut down, all mm. the transportation shut down everywhere at the same time or within weeks? That's coordinated efforts of private industry. So it's private industry colluding with pi private industry. Look at BlackRock. They're the major shareholder of most companies, which means they have a decision-making factor in most of these major companies.